Good evening, Madam Mayor, Council. My name is Michael Barnes. I'm a Brisbane resident. And since 2008, when I was on the City Council of Brisbane, I've been in favor of housing on the Baylands. I'm still in favor of housing on the Baylands. I still think it's a good idea. You know all the environmental reasons why it's a good idea. I think it can be built safely. But tonight, I'm, well, first I'm concerned that you're not taking a vote um, because it seems pretty clear the council doesn't have three votes for housing on the Baylands. And I was hoping that you would take your action so that the state legislature could then take some action. Um, the city council did a survey of the citizens of Brisbane and approximately half the people in Brisbane cons would consider some housing on the Baylands. But you have not followed up on your survey. I think it's because you don't like that answer. You also had the citizens' preferred alternative, a Baylands plan developed by the people of Brisbane, which included housing on the Baylands. But the city council stripped housing out of their proposal for the Baylands. So tonight I'm here to say that you're not listening to me and people like me. I have a lot of knowledge of the Baylands. I started the Baylands process when I was on the city council. And I think that the fact that we have 120 legislators in Sacramento and we have 130 housing bills in Sacramento show that everybody in California thinks housing is a problem and that we should build some housing here. I'm concerned also that the city of Brisbane doesn't seem to have any allies. Recently there was a meeting um, where our two county supervisors voted to proceed with a document that said there should be housing considered on the Baylands. Uh, Canapa and Pine voted against the expressed wishes of city representatives. Um, our two state legislators have just weighed in saying there should be housing on the Baylands. If the city of Brisbane is going to persist in not permitting housing on the Baylands, I don't think you're going to be successful without allies. Historically, Brisbane has succeeded in fighting housing by having allies at the county level and at the state level. And it appears to me we don't have those allies. I'm very concerned that if the city continues in this stance, that the city could be punished in a way that would affect me. And I'm for housing. <laughs> so please consider some housing on the Baylands. Negotiate with your state legislators. I mean, we, you just had an invitation to talk to Jerry Hill. I'd say you take that opportunity and talk to him and say, what can we get if we build 1,000 units of housing? What can we get if we build 2,000 units of housing? Maybe you negotiate and say 1,000 units and then we get 20 years of exemption from the RENA process. And then we don't get penalized for building those 1,000 units when we come back into the RENA process later. Because the RENA process also contains uh, ex expectation for future building based on how much you have built. Or if it's 2,000 units, get a 40 or 50 year exemption. Do something. Thank you. Thank you.